Okay, here we go with the next episode of The Simpsons Trials of Horror, and now I'm on Trials of Horror number 10. Yep, number 10. Coming from season 11, airing in 1999, so this is the last of the 90s Trials of Horror episodes. So let's see how the 90s Trials of Horror episodes end. Because overall, the 90s episodes have been pretty fun. I really have enjoyed them. So yep, from the 11th season, airing in 1999, so let's see what happens. Got the curtain. Satori City. 10th Halloween special, yep. A jack-o'-lantern ship. Wait, probe. It's Kang and Kodos already. So here they are, right at the beginning, before a story even starts. Thank you. Warm up the audience. <laughs> Borrow brain. Huh? Whoa. Just made Lisa disappear. Marge looking like one of the Adams family. So if like the wife, then it's like Morticia, I think it's her name. Homer's the Jack in the Box again from the Bart Zone from Trials of Horror 2. And Bart has that fly head again from Trials of Horror 8, the fly versus fly. And then Maggie has the tentacle legs again from the last Trials of Horror and Starship Hoopers. And at least it just disappeared. Story one. I know what you did, Italy. Italy did. Uh, the title similar to "I know what you did last summer." Vampires. Sugar crisp cereal. <laughs> The fog lights. Homer. Oh, looks like you hit someone. Please be a dog. It's Ned. You killed Ned. He's definitely dead, Homer. Uh, the Idly Idly, that's like his phrase, so I figured he'd be a big part of this one. Huh. No one knows that you're dead. Oh no. Bod. Clean the chimney. Get away, bird. Hi, Mud! Did we? <laughs> I'm having fun with my pal Homer. <laughs> Did we? The fog walks. I'm fine. <laughs> the lot toxins. It's slippery up here. <laughs> Throw his body down. <laughs> Body down. I'm home. Oh no, I'm having a heart attack. Up, uh, Homer. The Church of Springfield. Wacky neighbor. Don't look sad. It'll seem suspicious. Homer. Wrong story. The real killers. The 
winking. Go miss you. Got away with murder. No. No. Don't kill Millhouse. Homer. Homer wants to kill somebody now? I know what you did. Uh, like Again, like the movie, I know what you did last summer. Chief Wiggum, Mo, Krusty, Sherry, and Terry. Uh, Homer pointing at Marge. Like that. I know you're alone. Maud Flanders. Bo. I know what you did all over the walls. Oh, man. Oh, yep. The hook killer, like from the movie. I know he's part of that, even though I haven't seen that movie as a whole. All over the car, too. Saved my life. Out of gas. Mm -mm. Here he comes. The hook killer's getting close. The amusement park. The pet cemetery. Roller disco. The sexy teens killed. Skinny dipping. On oh, dead. The undead. On the fog walk. Ned. Ow, wolf. Oh my god, it sounds like he's getting torn up. He turned into a werewolf? Oh, I hit him. And then turn back into himself. So he was attempting to kill them. Moon. Uh, full moon turning to werewolf. They're running. Get out of there. Deadly. Get out of there, Homer. He's after you. Oh, he's turning up Homer. No, I hear the clothes ripping, Salty. It's just a wolfie. He tearing him up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And that was I Know What You Did, Lee Italy did. Yeah, again, the plot and the title were parodying I Know What You Did last summer. I haven't seen that movie as a whole. I might have seen some bits of it. I've seen the image of the killer in that movie, the hook guy. This wasn't too long after that movie came out because it did get sequels, but of course the original I Know What You Did last summer came out in 1997, and this episode came out in 1999. But, man, what a start to this one. So Ned was planning on killing them the whole time. He was going to try and kill the Simpsons. But then they run him over, and they didn't know he was a werewolf at first. But then he appears there as the hook killer wearing the outfit. And then he says, I was out on my fog walk, and I was going to kill you. Because he also was turning into a werewolf. In the ending, Jason Homer down tearing him up. You hear all the clothes ripping sounds, the screaming. Oh my god. What a way to start that one. Anyways, story two, Desperately Zeking Zena. Now, it makes me think of that Xena Warrior Princess show. I think that's what it was. And then the title's also making me think of the movie Desperately Seeking Susan with Madonna. Another movie I haven't seen, but I've definitely heard of. So plot-wise, I'm pretty sure this isn't parodying Desperately Seeking Susan plot-wise, but the title's similar to it. Except we have... X's in there instead of S's really, but desperately seeking Xena. So let's see what happens. K 
candy inspection at school. Or at this place. Oh, it's Ralph Wiggum. Candy on the x-ray. They're using x-ray to survey candy. Oh. Radioactive man? No. Nelson. Get in there, Candy! The pillowcase. Aw, oh, Nelson. Radiation. And it's huts. Bart. Oh, it got Bart and Lisa. There's Lionel. The Mathletics. Whoa! She's strong! And Poindexter. Whoa! Stretch your eyes. Yep. Stretch your limbs. Ow, that's too high. Through a basketball hoop. Uh... Oh, down, side to side. Oh, slap. So Bart has stretching powers. Lisa is strong. Uh, spinning Chief Wiggum like a basketball. Stretch dude and clobber girl. Like a superhero show. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Oh, I head for the Statue of Liberty. Pop it, the blimp. That president. Uh, enter the collector. The books. Lucy Lawless and Xena. Yep. <laughs> BF12. A wizard? She's gonna keep saying wizard. Here's the collector. I'm the collector. And you will be added to my collection. Oh, he's taking Xena. Or Lucy Lawless. Breastplate. Oh no, of course. They're gonna want to get a shot at her boobs. Xena. Actress, yeah, Lucy Lawless, like it said earlier on, but she played the role of Xena. Oh, uh, making me think of the Batman transition. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa. Put the leaves under the house. Oh, call for help. Well, she's saying she's an actress in this case, Lucy Lawless. Vulnerable to kryptonite. Well, that's what Superman is vulnerable to. A mylar pouch. Ah, uh, to make them in mint condition. Ah, uh, they are. Well, stretch his butt. They're over. A built phaser. A shatter for making another album. Bart, what are you doing? Adults only? No. Oh. Eh, phaser, phaser, phaser. Ow. Lose sight. Say goodnight. In lose sight. Yep. 
Do you want to marry her? Iron Man? Bro, you're not Iron Man. Really? A misunderstood soul. Huh? Wait a minute. Xena needs sex. I figured she was tricking him. I figured. Gotcha. Now kick him. Yep. Stan Lee blush. Here she comes. Boom. She gonna kick your ass, dude. Uh, what do you think I'm gonna try and do? You wanna drop Lisa down there? Double Edge lightsaber, Star Wars Episode One, Darth Maul. Yeah, I mean this did come out in 1999, and so did the Phantom Menace. So yeah. Yep, cause ain't mint condition now. Oh, and he falls into loose sight. Yeah. Must end life in classic pose. Tch. Well. Lucy Lawless, yep. Well. That was story two. Got some superpowers involved for Bart and Lisa, where Lisa becomes strong and Bart stretches, and they have to delete the collector guy, which I have a feeling was the comic book guy since, again, I haven't seen a huge amount of The Simpsons, but I'm comic book guy like he is. He likes the comic books. He would want to collect them. So I'm pretty sure that was him playing our collector villain in this one. And then Lucy Lawless Xena there. It's like... Yeah, it helps to defeat him. But yeah, that one was pretty fun overall too. With the powers. Alright. Story 3. Life's a glitch, then you die. Interesting title. So let's see what happens in this one. 1990 Field, Springfield, Rock and Eve. Same White Snake. Poison. Quiet Riot. Rat. Name and Bands. Happy 2000. Yeah, of course. Right around the uh, turn of the millennium, new millennium. Turn the century. Andy Griffith. Super Freak, Rick James. What the? You just arrested him? Why'd you arrest him? Y2K bugs. Oh, that's right. That's right. There was the worries at around the end of 1999 about the computer problems for Y2K when the year 2000 would come. A unit corrupted computers. Yeah, of course, the, the Y2K problem at the end of 1999 that everyone had. And there's the ball drop about to enter the year 2000. Network error. Oh, it says 1900. Yep, it changed to 1900. It's still robotic. Oh, they turned in... He disintegrated. 1900. Instead of 2000. Zero served at McDonald's. Oh, everyone in the... Spinning around in there. And it flies away. Ned. Uh, the copy machine... Not Ned. Nelson, the copy machine. He was about to do his ha-ha thing. Boom.
a complete mess going on. Close line. Whoa. The milk's broken. Computer chips and all the stuff. Microwave, blender, everything in there. Shooting out ice cubes now. The freezer. Waff wiring. Whoa! Helicopter! Judgment Day. Announced at the church. There's Ned. <laughs> yeah, why wear him there? The loot in the mall. Chief Wiggum leading everyone to the mall. March. Loot a present? It's like, okay, I'll let you go. Just give me a present. Marge. There they go. They're looting all the, the places. Lady Remington. Oh. Oh. Cutting the grass. Like a lawnmower. Lasers? Lasers coming out of the stoplights. Green, yellow, and red. Huh? The traffic lights. Eh. Homer. There's Krusty. Pacemaker. Whoa, like a hummingbird. Whoa! Top secret. Operation Exodus. Evacuating Earth. <laughs> Thank you, clown. <laughs> I'm not dead! There's the ship, the rocket. Operation Exodus to Mars. Bill Gates, Stephen Hawking, Paul McCartney, Michael Jordan. Show Quan. Piano genius. Shiny mixer. The proofreader, Lisa. One parent. Oh, tape Marge. Maggie. Easy Homer. And there they go. Yeah. They gonna get on that one? Spike Lee. Courtney Love. Tanya Harding. Tom Arnold. Ah, uh, wrong ship. Drink down peaches. Pauly Shore. Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> cling, cling, cling. 
Oh boy. Ow. Eject. Out into space. Oh. Oh. And they're still singing everyone else on there after ejection. And that was story three. Crazy ending to this Trials of Horror. And what a way to end the 1990s Trials of Horror episodes, because that one was wild. Especially that last story. With the Y2K problem, because yeah, like the turn of the millennium, there was the worries about the computers corrupting that they wouldn't turn to 2000, but of course they did. There might have been some bugs, but overall, it didn't happen. Like, it didn't happen like this, of course. Like, they did get to 2000. And everyone thought it'd be the end or something, but... Nope, 2000 came and everything was fine, pretty much, for the most part. But that ending, ejecting from the ship, where, of course, being out in space, no oxygen, their heads balloon up, and they pop off screen, but you hear the pops. They explode off screen, but you hear it. So, Bart and Homer just died from ejection into space. From being up there, their heads balloon up and explode off screen, but we know they die because they you hear the sound of it. What a wild ending to this Trials of Horror. But overall, another enjoyable installment. Now, the story I would say I enjoy the most from this one, I would probably say I Know What You Didly Idly Did was the one I enjoyed the most, the I Know What You Did Last Summer parody. Because just the funny laughs I got for the end of that one and just the interesting story with that, even though I haven't seen that movie as a whole. And Desperately Zeking Xena was still fun with the superpowers. And then life's a glitch, then you die, was just... Now, like I said with Nightmare Cafeteria, if I were to put stories by themselves into interesting, to say the least, life's a glitch, then you die, would go in there too. Especially for that ending. But anyways, I know what you did, Lee, Idly did, parodied I Know What You Did Last Summer, title and plot. Desperately Zeking Xena actually parodied Fantastic Four, like the powers, because there is strength involved in that, one of them does stretch. And Life's a Glitch, Then You Die parodied the year 2000 prom, or Y2K. And for guest stars, he had a few. Tom Arnold as himself, he was in the last one. Dick Clark. Lucy Lawless was in the second one. And Frank Welker was as... Werewolf Ned Flanders from the first story. So, yeah. Another Trails of Horror installment has been wrapped up. A pretty crazy one overall, but still enjoyable. Although, I mean, the other, the first two stories were, like, really fun, but still had their moments. It was really crazy when it got to the third story, the Life's a Glitch, Didn't You Die one. That's where it got really crazy for this installment. But again, it's still fun overall. I still enjoyed it. And so with that, that brings a close to the 1990s Trials of Horror episodes. And I liked all of the 90s ones overall. They were all pretty fun. But anyways, for the Simpsons Trials of Horror, I'll see you guys next time for the beginning of the 2000s episodes of Trials of Horror. And I'll see you guys in the next video.